Sponsored by the Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of the Bobby Bones Show. You know, you're so well known for all the percussion work you've done for people like Sting, Aretha Franklin, Biggie Smalls, Bono, you name it. You know, traveling the world, and I know you're still, you know, out on tour, getting ready to hit the road again with Nile Rodgers and Chic, which is not a bad gig. They had a few big hit songs that I think we've all heard of, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in, in your spare time, and I don't know how you did it, Ralph, but you launched your own cookie company with Soul Snacks. And I told you before we started the interview, every time I, I read the name Soul Snacks, I think about Don Cornelius from the old show. <laughs> right. And, and you know what's so great? I, I, I'm glad that people, many people have said that, you know, when they read it, somehow they go, no, so. you know, I like that. I like that. I do. <laughs> I like you know, I think it's incredible what you've done with this uh, company, Ralph, you know, in your spare time to where, you know, you've expanded your, your cookie factory there in the South Bronx. But uh, talk to me about how you came up with these recipes that are just taking the country by storm. Um, well, the idea uh, for the product actually started when I was a little kid, um, um, learning how to bake, hanging out at my grandmother's house. My, my grandmother used to live with my aunt. And as you know, with most families uh, all over the world, the party usually ends up somewhere around the food. <laughs> so uh, even as a little kid, when my grandmother would, would uh, cook or she would bake, I would always end up under her and she's always going, no, stand back, baby. I don't want you to get burned now. Come on. Uh, so when she would bake, my cousin Vincent and I being the only boys, we had the the job of, of finishing the bowl. And she would sit us at the at the table on telephone books because we were that small and they still had telephone books. Yeah. And we would we would just lick the bowl and the the smell, the um the family, the, the, the love, just the whole comfort of the situation always stayed with me. And uh, then growing up in the Bronx, I grew up in public housing. I was a kind of shy kid and kind of nerdy, just like my brother. And uh, I was good in school. I got skipped a year. And, and uh, so I wasn't really someone that was out. I played basketball, but I loved baking and I loved drumming. Uh, and that's how the whole thing kind of got started for me at a, at a very early age, just loving being in the kitchen with my mother and my grandmother. And, and uh, it worked out for me because I, I would give them the girls as gifts. And that's how I would uh, talk to them. <laughs> what a great idea. But, you know, I, I love the names on these too, Ralph. Like, like this one is Grampy's Chocolate Peanut Butter. And I know that, you know, your top seller is your, uh, are your sweet potato cookies. Yes. Yeah, we, uh, I created a sweet potato cookie. Uh, most of my ideas come either if I'm driving or if I'm flying. But the idea for the sweet potato cookie can was like, yo, that would be incredible if we could figure out a way to get a sweet potato cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's also a good uh, cookie for people who are watching their sugar levels as well. Right. Um, so what we're doing is we, we're actually putting a cookie together that's going to be made with a sweetener that doesn't affect people's glucose levels. Uh, and also the sweet potato doesn't affect well. But the sweet potato cookie took a few iterations of trying and get the recipe right, and then we finally nailed it, and that's actually our biggest seller on our you website. Know, and I got to bring this up too, Ralph. You know, you started this out as a small company, and then it's yeah. kind of just exploded now to where you know the cookies are in Walmart and everywhere. And so, you know, you're so well known for your drumming and percussion, but now you're going to be just as well known for your cookies. Yeah, it's it's a to me, and and I know you agree because you're involved in the entertainment business. Food is entertainment. Yes. You know, and I've always equated the two as being from that same kind of pleasure zone in the in the in the brain mm -hmm. that uh, when you go out to a restaurant, you go because you heard it was going to be good. The ambiance is right. The music is right. The food is good. When you go to a concert, the music is right. The lights are good. The, the ambiance is it's the same thing for me. It's entertainment. So I, I kind of correlate the two as as um, I, and I use the cookies as a calling card. So wherever I go, I have cookies with me. Well, you know, and I got to ask you, Ralph, because I thought about it this morning, getting ready to do our interview to where, you know, when you're out on the road, you know, and you're playing yes. all these amazing venues and everything, are Soul Snack cookies on the rider? Believe it or not. And this is so funny that you asked this question because we're going on tour with Cher. 
uh, starting again. This will be our fourth time out with Cher in September. Now Rogers and Sheik and Cher. And the cookies have been added to the writer. Yes. <laughs> I just thought, you know, if it was me and I had, you know, like, because, you know, I make homemade wine. But if I, if I had a cookie company like you, it's like, I would want that to be on the writer. Because you, you and I both know some of the music writers can get a little crazy out there with some of the oh, people. Oh, absolutely. This is legit. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it, thank you. And, and um, you know, I'm glad that uh, nationwide people are really liking the product and, and, and enjoying it. I'm getting great messages and videos. Someone sent me a video from Tulsa, Oklahoma, that they went in the store and bought all the cookies in the store. <laughs> well, you know, and I've got to ask you that too, Ralph, because, you know, it's just like, you know, uh, you know, as, as with your drumming and percussion, you've done so many amazing things over the years, you know, starting out at uh, only 18 years old, and, and, you know, I mean, you're playing with Cher and Nile Rodgers. I mean, you're playing with the top A-list people in the world. But like when you go into these different cities and everything, do you kind of go into the stores and check on your cookies while you're there too? Well, the fact that the cookies launched April 1st, and I just went out to some stores in New Jersey over the weekend, on Saturday actually, to just check on the product, uh, you know, let uh, supervisor and everyone know that I'm passionate about my product, introduce right. myself, so as I go around the country, that is absolutely the plan to on my days off, because usually when we when we're doing the share tour, we we always have day off show, two days off show. So it's a nice schedule. And my plan is to go out to every single store and do in stores, you know, just do giveaways and 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 all of that, you know, and, and I'm looking forward to it. That is incredible. And you and I were talking, too, that you're going to be starting a new campaign that I think is going to be running over the summer to where you're going to have people, you're going to have people going out and, and getting them to taste the cookie. Yeah. So we, we do these, the, the, this campaign that started uh, uh, a few months back called Taste the Cookie Ch uh, Ch uh, Challenge. So basically, it's, it's real simple. My friend in California, Gerard, he was the one who did the first ones. And, he, and uh, basically, you walk up to someone and go, hi, how you doing? So I'm going to do it with you. I'm going to do it with you. Okay. Are you ready? I'm okay. ready. Wait, I, I, wait, I got to open no, my no, no, package. No, 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 no. You no. don't have it yet. I, I still have it, and I'm going to give it to you. So we're going okay. to do the whole thing. All and right. action. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? Doing great. My name's Eric Dahl. Oh, Eric. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Ralph Roll, and I own a company called Soul Snacks. So uh, where are you from? Uh, you know, I'm from Nashville. Oh, beautiful. I love Nashville. I've been there many times. Listen, taste the cookie, and I hand you the bag, and now you have it. All right, this is an unopened bag, and these are Grampy's chocolate peanut butter. I got to try these out. I'm so looking forward to it. My crew already wanted to try them before me. <laughs> Look at that right there. That is an amazing cookie. Wow. Not too sweet, just right. Oh, thank you very much. I'm glad you like that. There's a couple of things that, that, uh, that, we've been doing before the cookies launched in Walmart. Like we have our, uh, our classic brand that you can buy on the internet. Um, my purpose for bringing my, my uh, facility, my factory back to my neighborhood mm -hmm. was to revitalize different areas with, with um, employment and future talent in the kitchen and, and just to teach people uh, a, a positive direction um, when we're now moving to a facility that used to be a juvenile detention center called Spofford, and it, and and I was part of a think tank that that won the bid to build affordable housing and space for small business. So in our new facility, we are having a certified uh, area uh, for a gluten free uh, vegan, and we're also uh, doing our classic line but we're putting a culinary art school and my partner in that is a gentleman named Bill Yassis, who was wow. the pastry chef for the Bush family and the uh, Obama family. And he has a show on Hulu. And part of that is for fundraising where 501c3 charities can actually uh, get our cookies for their organizations to raise, to raise money. But I'm also part of an organization with Bill Yassis that is, he's the founder called One World, One Kitchen where it is solely for the purpose of feeding people in developing countries. And we've already donated $25,000 to his foundation that went uh, to farmers, uh, directly to farmers in Africa. Wow. So, so the goal for me 
is to just make awareness that mm-hmm. our lives here, that we live on a daily basis, we sometimes take for granted, not all of us, but sometimes that there are people in other parts of the world that that literally need our, our help. Mm-hmm. You know, and there are people here in America that need our help. So that's why I'm doing charity work here in America. And I'm doing charity work outside uh, internationally as well. But that's that's just all part of the uh, Soul Snacks uh, mission is right. to, you know, try to feed people uh, not just cookies, but but meals and making sure that that, you know, folks have the nutrition and the values uh, that they need for their their forward motion. How incredible. I tell you, you know, and it's so impressive to me, Ralph, that, you know, you've been able to chase two of your passions obviously playing music all your life with, you know, these incredible tours that you've been on and are on. And then also, you know, from your family, you know, with with your Grammy and your grandpa and your aunts and everybody, you know, to be able to make cookies and do charity work with that. It's just amazing. I want to make sure for our viewers, Ralph, you know, for Soul Snack Cookie Company, where do they need to go to? And then also for you on tour, I want to make sure they know your website and social media also. Thank you. Um, that cookie you have there is named after my grandmother, Gram. We call it Grampy or Gramps. So ah. Grampy's chocolate thing. Um, if you go to soulsnacks.com, S-O-U-L-S-N-A-C-K-S.com, you can find uh, everything that you need to know about the cookies. You can purchase our classic brand there. We have a list alphabetically of all the stores that we're in with Walmart. We have merchandise on that page. You can send me an email if you have anything that you want to you know, discuss even musically, you can contact me there. It's not a problem. I do teach a lot of master classes in music. Mm-hmm. And I do tell everyone at every master class I've ever done, if you email me, I promise you, I will email you back. So yeah. So they did thank you for that. And on social media, you can go to Soul Snacks uh at on Instagram, on Facebook, on um, on Twitter, or you can go to Ralph Roll or R A L P H R L L E. And you can find me. So, so you know what? We're going to see you on tour with Cher and Nile Rogers with Chic. We're going to see you in, in stores with Soul Snack Cookies. It's a win all the way around. Ralph, thank, thank you so you. much for coming on The Rock Interview. When I come down there, you're going to come to my show. I promise you that. I'll, I'll I look have forward to it. And I want to be in the back so I can be with the riders and have some more cookies, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Ralph. Thank you so much, Eric. I appreciate it. Sponsored by The Big 98, Nashville's number one for new country and the home of a Bobby Bones show. 